So, you have a movie directed by Zach Braff, written by Theodore Melfi, starring Morgan Freeman, Michael Caine, and Alan Arkin. This movie has to be good, right? Well, let's see what I thought of going in style. Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I am here to review going in style. Cause I'm reviewing this movie in style. So Going In Style is what I just said in my intro. It is directed by Zach Braff. It is written by Theodore Melfi. And the film stars Morgan Freeman, Michael Caine, Alan Arkin, Matt Dillon, Joey King. You have a great cast here. So Going In Style is about when these three elderly men, they want to rob a bank after the bank doesn't want to give them the money. Their money is basically taken and they're desperate to pay their bills. Michael Caine could possibly lose his house in the next 30 days. The problem is they don't know how to handle a gun, they don't know anything about being sneaky, or really just anything to plan the ultimate bank robbery. So these three elderly men have to train in order for their robbery to work. So going into going in style, I'm not gonna lie, I was actually very interested in this film. And I was laughing hard watching the trailer. It's like one of the most enjoyable and funny trailers I've watched in a while. I really couldn't wait to watch this film. Zach Braff, I think, is a very talented guy. Wish I was here. I think is a very, very underrated film that he he has made and Theodore Melfi who wrote and directed both St. Vincent and Hidden Figures I was really excited to see him write this film. He's not really directing this time around, but he is writing the script for this film. And then you also have Morgan Freeman, Michael Caine, and Alan Arkin. This had the recipe to be a very fun movie and coming out of going in style. Well, I mean, it's fun. Uh, ish. Uh, yeah, I was, for the most part, pretty disappointed with this film. And I'll explain why I say for the most part later. Um, but for this review, I'm actually going to go straight into my negatives. And then I'm going to go into my positives afterwards. It's going to make more sense why I start off with my negatives and then my positives. My problem with the film is that the majority of it was just so weak. Like, it's not bad, it's just really weak. A lot of the humor I surprisingly found very stale. A lot of humor just unfortunately didn't work for me, and that's a shame because I came into this movie expecting to laugh like consistently, and I didn't really do that. As far as the script goes, I do think this is Theodore Melfi's weakest work so far, and I'm kind of surprised because with how he wrote the comedy in St. Vincent, that was great. Even with Hidden Figures, you know, it was a drama film, but he did a good job of adding the comedic stuff in hidden figures too i do think compared to his other work that he has written it definitely could have been better the subplot with alan arkin and Anne margaret i really didn't really care too much for to be honest i was like yeah whatever on it but i just thought it felt really shoehorned and i was surprisingly bored too you know i mean when a lot of the humor doesn't really work for me you're gonna really find yourself bored. There's also this character that helps Morgan Freeman, Michael Ken, Alan Arkin with this bank robbery. And I thought he was actually pretty annoying. I didn't really like him. And there's a couple of other characters that really weren't that memorable to me either. And to continue on me thinking the film is mostly pretty dull, it's because there's a few times where that certain scene will drag on way too long. Like they just keep going and going and going with the scene. I'm just like, okay, can we just move on? I'm really not caring about the certain scene. I'm not really laughing at the certain scene. I just kind of want to move on to the next scene. But now to go into my positives for going with style, the reason I start off with my negatives first is because it's really the first two acts of this film. For the first two acts, I thought this film was pretty stale. Not bad per se, but it was just really eh. 
But I gotta say, without spoiling anything, once Morgan Freeman, Michael Ken, and Alan Arkin go on their bank robbery at the end of the second act, something happens after that. And that is when I actually liked going in style. Now, I wasn't necessarily laughing a whole lot. There was some really good comedic timing for sure, but what made the third act actually really enjoyable, unlike the first two acts, was that the storyline was actually interesting. Theodore Melfi's writing for sure improved when we got to the third act. The third act definitely gave me the Theodore Melfi that I know. The chemistry with Morgan Freeman, Michael Caine, and Alan Arkin is fantastic. Just seeing them on screen put a huge smile on my face and seeing them interact was definitely enough for me to get through the first two acts of Going In Style. These actors are just so great. They worked really well together. They just made a very solid trio here in this film for sure. And margaret does appear in this film. You know, as I said earlier, she and Alan Arkin do have a subplot that I didn't really care for, but Anne margaret is actually really good here. It is nice to see her again because it's been a long time. So it was cool that they actually got her. And Matt Dillon, who I haven't seen in a long time either, it was really cool to see him in this film. I enjoyed Matt Dillon, Joey King, not really in this film that much, but I did enjoy seeing her. I thought the cinematography was beautiful for this film. The lighting I thought was really good. And I thought Zach Braff, really cool to see Zach Braff during direct a more mainstream movie because the first two movies that he directed which are Garden State and Wish I Was Here those are more smaller movies so to see Zach Braff move on to a more mainstream movie I thought was interesting I have to say that he did do a very good job directing this film I did think that he added plenty to his direction with going in style and there are some moments that did have me laughing in the first two acts there are some moments that had me dying of laughter I'm gonna say the grocery store scene the the grocery store scene had me dying absolutely dying that's probably the funniest scene in going in style is the entire grocery store scene that was comedy gold that scene gave me what i wish the rest of going in style gave me and there's plenty of bits in the third act that i thought were funny but i also did really like how heartwarming it was because we deal with the story with these guys wanting to get this money because they want to see their family. You know, it's for family reasons, it's for bill reasons. You actually want to see these guys succeed. And the heartwarming stuff that we see in the third act, I thought it was wonderful. I found myself actually smiling a lot in the third act because of how fun it was, because of how heartwarming it was, and because of how charming it was. Keenan Thompson also does appear in this film, not that much, but really cool to see Keenan Thompson as well. I thought he was definitely funny for the scenes that he does appear in. Christopher Lloyd too, oh my god, Christopher Lloyd. He has to be the funniest thing about going in style. We don't really get to see Christopher Lloyd that much in movies, so for us to actually see him in this movie was really cool. Yeah, he plays a very interesting character. That's all I'm going to say. I actually did really like the soundtrack and going in style. I thought the soundtrack that they would play throughout this film, it did fit very well for the scenes that are going on. And besides the grocery store scene, I will say the bank robbery scene, when you actually do see Morgan Freeman, Michael Ken, Alan Arkin attempting to rob the bank, that, that scene was hilarious too. I was cracking up. And yes, you could predict where the movie is going, but I was having so much fun with the third act that it wasn't really a problem with me. Overall, you guys, going in style for the most part, I have to say is really disappointing because it was just so eh. But then that third act, came up and I was actually having a fun time with this film. The first two acts were disappointing for sure, but that third act was very solid. If I were to judge the third act, it's a three out of four star movie, but unfortunately I have to judge the movie from its first two acts. I'm gonna give Going In Style 
two and a half out of four stars. It was going to be like a two with the first two acts not being that great, but because of that third act, it definitely bumps up my rating a little bit. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know, what did you think about going in style? This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power. Come on.